loves thanks for returning i hope this video finds you happy and doing well as you know by the thumbnail this video is going to be on my top fall and winter fragrances so if you're interested then just keep watching all right so if you are an oldie but goodie to my channel you know that i typically talk about makeup skincare and things like that i have talked about fragrances that i like in favorites type of videos as well as hauls but um i think i want to kind of talk a little bit more about the fragrances that i have now by no means do i have as many as a lot of the other content creators in the YouTube atmosphere but I have a few and during this video I want to talk about the ones that I think are really good for winter now of course we can wear fragrances whenever we want to you know the thought behind it is that winter fragrances um, fall fragrances are um, typically the ones that are going to project really well have good sillage because you know with the cold weather um, you need to have a thicker heavier perfume or or cologne to really you know come through as opposed to something light that you will wear in the uh, summertime all right so with all of that being said let me just get into the first one all right so the first one that I want to talk about is this beauty right here by Initio and this is atomic rose now some people say that this is a unisex perfume or cologne and you know nowadays a lot of people are just basically wearing fragrances that smell good to them be it masculine or feminine um, however in my opinion the atomic rose it just leans more feminine to me however I can see where uh, a, a guy could wear it I mean a guy could definitely pull it off and this particular fragrance was launched in 2019 um, in France and it's just a really well blended fragrance and when you hear the word rose definitely don't think of your traditional rose in fact it doesn't smell like rose at all however However, it does have Turkish and Bulgarian rose in it and it also has Hideon in it and Hideon um, historically has been known to be a fragrance that if someone smells it on you they'll just be naturally drawn to you you know you have to read up on Hideon to see all of the good things about that fragrance um, and when I wear it I get lots of compliments now for me, this fragrance um, is pretty linear. You know, even though it has the top, the middle, and the base notes, um, I get the same scent throughout. And that's when I spray it on, as well as on my skin, as well as on my body. Um, it's just a really beautiful fragrance. It does have amber, it has Madagascar vanilla in it. It's also got bergamot, as well as Egyptian jasmine. It's just a really good fragrance. And just a little side note, like if you're the type of person that sprays your fragrances on your clothes you will have to wash it out this is not the type of fragrance that's going to you know um, just leave it's going to stick <laughs> with your clothes so I love it and it's a great fragrance for fall and winter all right so the next one is by Maison Francis Kirk John and this is Grand Soir now this is another one that is worn by women and men however this one leans a little bit more masculine um, however I think that a woman could pull it off now my husband wears this one and this one has enormous sillage and projection just to kind of give you an idea of how well it is and I, I guess I have to say on him um, but um, you know when he leaves to go to work okay he sprays it and then when he comes home I can remember one day he wore it and I was coming out of the bedroom to you know greet him as he came uh, through the house he came through the garage and he was in the kitchen and I smelled him as I turned the corner and that's with him wearing it all day and then he comes home from work and I can still smell it so um, that if you're looking for something that has a uh, potent sillage and projection this is definitely it it does have rose honey from Bulgaria and Iran uh, the base notes uh, consist of sandalwood and amber accord and it's just a really nice mellow scent um, if you like amber okay or fragrances that are oriental type of fragrances you'll love this one uh, this fragrance is very um, sophisticated um, it's very well blended it's very mellow 
but I'm really loving the ylang ylang in it as well as the tonka bean and with this fragrance um, when you spray it you definitely get all of the notes it's not a linear type of fragrance you're going to get your benzoin and your rose honey in the top notes and when you skirt on down to your middle notes you will get the cumin and the ylang ylang and the tonka bean um, and then of course your base notes you'll get your cedar wood your sandalwood your amber and you'll just basically get all all of that so if you've never tried this one next time you're in the store I got this particular bottle from Neiman Marcus or you can go online and order a discovery kit but this one is definitely worth buying all right so the next one that I have of that I think is great for fall and winter is this candy it's like Prada it's a pretty old fragrance it was launched back in 2011 and this is a very sharp gourmand uh, fragrance so if you love gourmand type of fragrances this is this has got to be your jam this one to me is very um, it's very heavy with the caramel and the musk and the vanilla um, I have seen where some people say that the projection and the longevity uh, the sillage and all of that is terrible I'm on my skin it's not I've worn this and people have come into the room where I was and they were like oh what is that you're what is that you're wearing you smell so good you know and that's from several people so um, just remember you know when it comes to things like that it's really it's good to know you know what others think about a fragrance but at the end of the day you're gonna have to see how it goes with your chemistry you know how it reacts to you also you know there's other types of factors going into play when you're trying to judge like that it could be what the person um, uh, if they what kind of soap they use or what kind of mist or lotion or you know it's a lot of things that go into that anyway I digress but it's a very warm creamy um, a cozy type of scent and I guess the best way that I could uh, talk about it or describe it would be it's just very comforting you know uh, it, and it smells good you know so at the end of the day if you like caramel and vanilla <laughs> and a little bit of musk thrown in there you're gonna love this one because this is heavy on that and I think it's great for fall and winter all right so next up I have absolutely blooming by Miss Dior this came out in 2016 and it's a floral fruity uh, type of fragrance definitely not unisex in my opinion and in the top notes you're gonna get raspberry black currant uh, pink pepper pink pepper is actually in a lot of the fragrances um, that I have um, right now but but you really get those notes um, upon first sniff it does have white musk accord in the base notes so you know whenever you hear musk or whenever I hear musk I'm thinking that um, it's going to be a little bit more uh, heavier or thicker or just basically kind of ground those scents and it just makes for a better blend in my opinion and by no means am I the connoisseur of uh, fragrances it's just my little take on it and in the middle notes you do have peony and may rose and um, this scent is definitely not uh, linear scent I feel as though upon initial you know when you spray it speaking of which the atomizer on all of these are really good but anyway upon initial sniff you do get the fruity raspberry very sweet perfume and then it just dries down into a more mature sophisticated type of woman that uh, every man wants to be around <laughs> I'm just teasing I'm just teasing but it's very very nice and a seductive scent great for the winter I feel as though you know and all of these have good projection and sillage at least on me they do now I guess the only drawback that I would have to say with this one if you spray it on your clothes you know when you go back in the evening or the next day it's going to be gone this is not one uh like the atomic rose and the grand soir where you're gonna have to wash it off and the grand soir you're gonna have to wash your clothes several times to get that one off but this one is very it's very nice and sophisticated and seductive it, it's really nice and it's definitely good for the fall and winter all right so i have another floral fruity type of fragrance uh this is daisy love oh so sweet it's a very floral fruity type 
type of fragrance um, and some might say that this is probably better for the summer but I think that it works really well during the colder time of year especially if you do some of those tricks that help your uh, fragrance to last longer or project more so when you first um, smell it you do get really strong whiffs of bergamot white raspberry and you know this one is a scent that I don't think is linear um, I think that you know when you spray it you're going to get lots of the fruits and berries and things like that and as that begins to dry down you'll get the scent of jasmine milk um, you you really it's like a fun fragrance and to me it's always fun to see how fragrances actually change on you they'll start one way and then you kind of smell it and it's turning into one thing and then it dries down to another this one dries down and has a sugar musk in the base so you know you add sugar and then it's musk and it just it just makes for a very well blended syrupy type of fragrance that if you're in love with sweet fragrances you will love 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 this one you know just to uh, just kind of quickly touch on you know just to see how fragrances change um, there was a fragrance that I'm out of now that I need to buy some more it's a really old cheap fragrance it's, it's oh it's called Car cabaret I bought that or I, I've worn it for years right and it starts off and it stinks Ugh. you know I, and I'll be honest and my husband you know he hates it but the dry down oh my goodness the dry down you know here it is so funny how when i had it you know when i would first spray it he'd be like don't spray that around me it stinks it stinks but then later on he'd you know be up close to me but he'd be like Ooh, what you wearing i'd be like cabaret <laughs> you know that fragrance that you don't like so you know you when you're out buying your fragrances that you'll be doing yourself a disservice if you you know sniff it i don't like it and you walk on because fragrances there are a lot of fragrances that they evolve they they're going to turn into something after you spray it on yourself you know what i'm saying i hope that makes sense but that fragrance everybody loves it every no fail i could go anywhere anywhere and spray it you know and they pass by me and they would love it love it i don't care who it is i never fails i would bet I would bet so much money on that even though I don't bet but anyway I digress this one is great for fall winter and you would actually love this one. All right, so the last one that I have up is another one by Mason Francis Kirk John and this one is lovely it's so beautiful this one was launched in France in 2019 and this is a, um, a vanilla Type of fragrance um, it's another gourmand um, some um, people you know would say this is unisex however I think this leans um, more feminine um, I've, I see that more women wear this fragrance as opposed to men it's a very well blended uh, creamy fragrance and you can definitely see all of the notes just kind of come through especially in the top note you're gonna get the juniper berries and the nutmeg um, in the middle notes it does have coriander seed in it and for the dry down or in the base notes you're going to get more vanilla musk ambery woods type of fra uh, type of notes um, so if you like again gourmand types of fragrances you'll really love this one this one leans uh, sweet uh, but slightly uh, slightly sweet with a lot of musk kind of built into it this one you can see it actually develop you know once you spray it as opposed to the dry down and you know as far as longevity um, I think that it's nice um, I don't think that it is as strong as the atomic rose and the grand soir but this one is definitely nice great for fall and winter I always get a lot of compliments on it and and it's just overall a really nice subtle spicy uh, type of sweet Swedish spicy you know it's all kind of adjectives that I could use to describe this one but the one that I want you to walk away with is it would be great for fall and winter so there you go short and sweet those are all of the fragrances in my collection that I feel would be great for fall and winter let me know have you tried any of these fragrances if so let me know what you thought about them down in the comments I'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches